Hi there, and welcome to the new devotional series that we will be um, doing during Lent. It's called A Musical Journey Through Lent, um, and it's something that I will be leading. Um, every Wednesday, I will post a video um, talking about a song that we sing often during Lent, um, and usually it's a song that also speaks to me personally. Um, there will also be a write-up with this information in the beacon um, every Monday as well. Um, so I will share a little information about the song, and then I will sing or play the song afterwards. So um, today, the song that um, you will be hearing and I will talk about is I Want Jesus to Walk With Me. Um, this is one of my favorite songs that we sing during Lent. I've been singing it for a long time, um, even since I was a, a little kid. Um, so a little bit about the song. Um, it's an African-American spiritual um, the composer and author are unknown. Um, it's often associated with Lent, but it is appropriate for most of the church season uh, because of its message regarding our life's journey. So um, the tune that we sing the song to, which is called Walk With Me, is most likely named after Sojourner Truth, an enslaved woman and heroine of the Underground Railroad. Moses Hogan, an African-American and Juilliard School of Music graduate, was known for creating an arrangement of the song that is sung today. So the song has three verses. The first verse is, I want Jesus to walk with me, and you repeat that a few times, all along my pilgrim journey, Lord, I want Jesus to walk with me. The second verse is, in my trials, Lord, walk with me. When my heart is almost breaking, Lord, I want Jesus to walk with me. The third verse is, when I'm in trouble, Lord, walk with me. When my head is bowed in sorrow, Lord, I want Jesus to walk with me. So obviously it's a little bit of a lament song, um, meaning that it's kind of sad and um, uh, something that we would sing when um, we want to feel some sense of hope, maybe, um, when um, we are feeling a lot of despair. Um, but the fact that the author and composer are unknown is not surprising. Um, many African-American spirituals have no known authors because they were often just the spontaneous utterances of slaves. According to Gwendolyn Warren, an African-American author who reflected on the spiritual, she says, in the context of slavery, such a song gave slaves a sense of hope and courage knowing that Jesus, who had already passed through the fiery trials and come out triumphant on the other side, was walking beside them, gave them courage to go on. So many years later, after this has been written and after um, the freeing of the slaves, while my life experience might be different and a lot of your life experiences might be different, um, the song reminds us that Jesus is here walking with us through our own trials and tribulations. And we all have our own personal trials and tribulations. Um, while they may not be as awful as slavery, most likely, definitely not, um, each person does have something that they are struggling through. And songs like this, lament songs, um, that give hope while we are in despair, um, are something that uh, reminds us that God is always there with us walking with us on our journey. I want Jesus to walk with me. I want Jesus to walk with me. Lord, I want Jesus. 
to walk with me. When I'm in trouble, Lord, walk with me. When I'm in 